Previously, we introduced you to the eco-friendly heating, ventilating and air conditioning system designed by the Harbin Institute of Technology, or HIT, in China's northern Heilongjiang province, which uses sewage as a heat source in a heat sink. However, the system must have access to large amount of water at any given time. The problem is that sewage contains a lot of solid waste, and if it is not filtered, the system clogs up. Conventional water treatment and filtration are far too costly. Thus, HIT has designed their own self-cleaning filtration system. Situated by the Songhua River in Heilongjiang province's capital of Harbin, this four-star hotel has a hidden secret. In 2003, it decided to forsake traditional coal-fired boiler heaters and installed a greener HVAC developed by the Harbin Institute of Technology. Oh, this heating system can keep room temperature above 20-some degrees Celsius. It's worth every penny. Back in 2003, when we had it installed, we estimated a four-year return on investment. But now that coal prices have shot up, we can recover the cost of the system within a year. In running a business, every penny counts. Using traditional coal-fired boilers, the 160-room hotel would need to purchase 3,000 tons of coal a year for heating. With current coal prices at about 100 US dollars per ton, heating costs would be about 300,000 US dollars per year, producing about 9,000 tons of carbon dioxide. However, the hotel's current green HVAC is heated by the city's sewage and does not burn anything or produce any ash or smoke. Research shows, in comparison to the two most common heating systems, this design outperforms the others by nearly 50%. In other systems, for every unit of energy we consume, a unit of heat is generated. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. But using this heat pump technology for every unit of energy we put in, we can retrieve three or four units of heat. Why? Because we are extracting heat from air, water, namely our environment. But for this HVAC system to utilize raw sewage, clogging becomes a big problem. In sewage, besides sand and rocks, there are organic materials like leaves, vegetables, animal waste, plastic bottles, medical waste, basically just about anything. To extract heat from such water, I need to use a heat exchanger, but allowing unfiltered water directly into the system clogs up the pipe immediately. To heat 100,000 square meters requires 1,000 tons of wastewater. If 0.3% of the water contains particles, then that translates to 50 kilos of solid waste entering the system per minute. In my lab, I use a filter with 4 millimeter openings and unfiltered sewage. Within 40 seconds, the filter was completely clogged. So what kind of filter we use is not the answer. It is not about what kind of filter should be used, but about how one filters. Thus, this self-cleaning filtration system was developed. The filter inside rotates 10 times per minute, meaning it takes 6 seconds to rotate once. Each mouth of the filter will remain open for 4 seconds to receive water, and about 1 second where used water washes through, thus cleaning any debris clogging up the system. Such ingenious designs give life to the green HVAC system. Extracting heat from sewage is a win-win solution for both the environment and one's pocketbook.